This is gonna be probably one of the coolest, like, visually appealing videos that we've uploaded so far, not because of the editing or anything special, but because of the super cool units that we're gonna be able to showcase in this video. I hope you guys are excited. Please smash the like button, subscribe, turn notifications, and join my Discord if you guys have not already. I'm really excited to show these off because A, I haven't seen them myself, so there's gonna be like a first time reaction to this, and B, they're gonna look super cool from what I've already seen like with the regular versions of these characters. So, shiny, crafty, characters let's go intro I said this before and I'm gonna say this again this is the best game on Roblox oh my god look at this mount guys I still cannot get over the fact that this mount is absolutely amazing not only does it look insanely cool and unique, it is so fast. It's so fast. And then like the little particle design on it, look. This is absolutely insane. And the way that we sit on it makes it look like we're actually sitting on it. It's not actually like a bad uh, mount and it's not made poorly. It's made so well. You guys, whoever made this mount is like, a genius and, and they deserve a raise and, and they're absolutely amazing but anyways guys I got a little update for you guys today there's a brand new code that they released for you guys it's code ticket code I know raids kind of suck because they're only once a day but at the same time they don't suck because they give you absolutely amazingly cool pets that you guys can use and today I'll actually show you off one of those pets now so um unequip all as you guys saw I got Aizen before. I've already done a little showcase on him, but look at how cool and how strong Aizen actually is. Let's just have him attack Hollow Bell right here. Oh, okay, he's really far back. Hey, hurry up, hurry up, boy. Hurry up, boy. Okay, Aizen is attacking Hollow Bell. Look at this, guys. He's absolutely shredding this Hollow Bell, and, and he's only level 120. I can't even imagine him at level 130 doing as much damage. Oh my god, that's absolutely insane, that attack. So, Aizen, the secret from this world, there we go, level, let's see, he's 120, he's at 93 million damage, so if I were to max him out if I somehow, he'd be doing 480 million damage, guys, that is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely insane, okay, that's insane. Um, they did go ahead and release a new update yesterday, which, like, increases HP of the raid boss, if you leave a raid, you can rejoin. Um, increase XP for level up of crafted fighters. Okay, that's kind of cool. Added critical hit settings, fixed daily ticket. Crafted fighters have weird levels and XP bars at over 100%. So, um, lots of updates happening in the game. Lots of cool things that they're adding every single day. But today, guys, I want to showcase you not only Aizen, but I wanted to showcase Kilua. This is probably the best crafted character that you can make other than like the leech one the ichigo and like the um the one from virtual world the uh, kirito but look at this guys look at how amazing kilua looks he's not even wearing like super cool gear it's just that his glowing effect is so absolutely insanely well done whoever's like the particle effect maker of this game also deserves a raise because this is amazing guys this is Kilua, and i don't think i have a regular kilo on my inventory but he looks so cool let's look at his stats really quick um let's go to canera world there is killy speed at level 135 he does 350 million damage guys look i don't even think amy does that okay well she does um i, I lied how about Etta? yeah I guess, I guess they're a little bit strong He's about as strong as Sun, so he's a good secret, like, character to craft, because he does so much damage, it's actually insane. Um, the shiny version, 610 million, um, which is quite insane, but look at his attack, guys. It is so cool. Let's see, let's make sure HD effects are on. Look, he, like, turns into the character, and then, like, he beats the poop out of them, and then he puts their soul back into their body, but it's so cool. One thing I do notice about this attack, though, is that it's like literally every attack, it does this. So it doesn't matter like that 
it's not doing a lot of damage because every single time he attacks, he's going to do that super cool move, which means he's going to keep doing all this damage consistently non-stop, which is very cool. Um, if I add Aizen and my uh, Coyote to this team, the Falcon, I should say, look, look at this team. Look at this team. I just need these two. Look at how fast I can destroy this boss. This, this is absolutely insane. And also the little Kilo effect thing where he likes turns into the other characters works for every single character slash boss slash person that you find on the map. So once I destroy her, I'll show you what I need. But like you see how he turns into her kind of? Look, another her. Another one of her. Um, it will work for every single character. So let's say I go back to the... Um, Let's see, let's go to Canera Island real quick since he's from Canera Island. And let's unequip Falcon and unequip Aizen. And then now look at this. Look, he's gonna turn into Poopy. Boom. He oh wait! This one like actually works. He like beats the poop out of them. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Beats the poop out of Poopy. <laughs> it's so cool and it's so effective and it's so consistent that it makes it probably the best move that I've seen so far on any one of these like shiny crafted characters, which is pretty darn awesome. Let's see how he looks on Narum, because I actually don't know how Narum will look, because he's kind of tiny. La la la, here's Killua, let's go. Super cool move, activate. Oh, that's cool, he picks him up out of the ground. So maybe like with the regular-ish size characters, he doesn't pick them up. Oh, wait, let's see what Walled City looks like because it'd be real. I think it's gonna be really cool because that giant is massive. Massive. There we go. There's the Colossus right there. Um, Kilua, where are you? Uh, unequip all. Equip Kilua here. And he's at level 116, guys, so he's doing uh, 43 million damage. Alright, let's see what he does to this boss. Oh, he's gonna kill it in one shot. Darn. Kind of wish he was weaker, but at the same time, I'm happy that he's not weak because he's so good. So, so good. Here's my best team right now, guys. Amy, level 121. Aizen, level 120. Amy, 117. Amy, 115. Falcon, 45 million. And Kilua, 43 million there. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to keep hatching the egg in the uh, leech world, even though it's extremely expensive because... I don't know, I just need to get the Mugetsu version of like these shiny crafted characters. I have four crystals, which means I'm still gonna have to do two more raids, which sucks. It means it's another at least another two hours if I'm lucky, but um yeah, that's quite insane. Look, look at Kilo there. Sheesh! Look at his damage. And then my whole team, I can shred this hundred billion thing so fast, like I have the best team in the game. What do you guys have for your characters? I'm quite interested. Also, if you haven't used um, any of the other codes that you can use, uh, use code THANKS 150 k um, Yeah, that's another super strong OP code you guys can use. It, it, it gives you a ton of boosts, I think. Uh, there you go. THANKS 150 k Make sure you guys use that. Let me know what you think of Kilua. I'm going to try to get my hands on these shiny characters, and I guess I will see you guys later, okay? Reason these is. Bye!